Stephen, goes without saying, uh, a desperately disappointing afternoon. Yeah, uh, especially I thought we, we started well. Um, I think if we'd hung on before the, the end of the first half of that goal, it might have been a different story, but that, um, maybe it could have, could have been avoided. Yeah, that, that goal just before half-time was crucial, wasn't it? Because if you'd gone in at the break, you were a goal to the good at that point, uh, but it did change things uh, quite dramatically. Yeah, I think, as I said, we, we went and obviously disappointed with the goal, but pleased in the way we played, because um, I thought we dominated the first half, and, uh, limit, limit them to any chances, and we kept the ball quite well, but goals changed games, and they came out and obviously uh, scored a few goals. Obviously bitterly disappointing, having had such a good start as well, and it was a good finish by Liam. Yeah, great ball from Dean, um, and Liam uh, brought the offside trap and finished it, so it's, uh, we need more goals like that, and uh, trying to keep them out the other end. This season, up to now, defensively, uh, you know, Wanderers, Wanderers have won a lot of plaudits uh, for the improved showing yeah. uh, at the back. This afternoon, dis- you, you must be disappointed with the way in which, uh, particularly second half, looked quite ragged at times. Yeah, I just, I don't know what happened. I thought the big boy, Ishmael Miller, played quite well. Uh, held the ball up for them. Uh, sort of the same way Gary Medine and, and Big Emil does for us. Um, so he was bringing players into play out in the flanks and uh, when the second goal went in then uh, we just couldn't uh, deal with him today. You mentioned Emil of course that you started the afternoon alongside him how much of a blow was that to lose him so soon? Yeah definitely because the big man he, he does the same job as Ismail uh, he can hold the ball up and yeah, hold players off And but him coming on uh, coming off and Gary coming on similar type of players so it, it didn't really change our, our game plan and for you personally, obviously, at your first full start in a Baltimore shirt, disappointing circumstances though. Yeah, obviously pleased uh, to get my chance and obviously we got beat today so it's just back to work on Monday and uh, make sure I can try and stay in the team as long as I can. And it's a time for big characters now, isn't it, with uh, the leaders Brighton to come to the Macron next Saturday? Yeah, two massive games now, Brighton and QPR before the break again. So it's uh, important that we've, had, we've got a, a great uh, home record recently, so it's uh, all about keeping that and uh, trying to win the game.